All right, I know so many ARC fans out there have been waiting for this week's Community Crunch, me included. Did they address the T mass band scandal? No. Did they address the upcoming ARC Survival Ascended August launch with live gameplay footage we've all been asking for? No. Okay, so what did they give us? Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Wood. <laughs> Wood. What's going on, everybody? It's Watuna Buzz Lightbeer, and welcome back to the channel. All right, so last night, the ARC community team posted Community Crunch number 362. And, oh, by the way, before I get into everything ARC-related, there was a sad moment there. There was a memoriam for HG Mods creator Holger Hulk Geisler. Now, I've personally not seen his work, but my thoughts and prayers do go out to his loved ones. Now, I did a bit of poking around, and Hulk's mods were really highly respected, with the multi-storage box getting tons of positive feedback. Also, some of them have been discontinued, but Hulk's mods collection includes over 30 items with tons of improvements to QOL, or quality of life improvements to the game. Also, and I really wanted to make mention of this, the outpouring of respect and positive statements towards the man himself have been impressive. All right, let's get into the body of the crunch. And as I mentioned in the intro, the team at Wildcard has totally dodged the Ark Survival Ascended topic and gone right after Ark 2, of all things, which last we all heard was pushed back to late 2024 and possibly delayed into spring 2025, if you believe the mention in the latest digital domain statement. But Ark 2 it is, unveiling the new building system, Wood. The crunch reads, showcase your architectural prowess in a whole new light. This preview of the wooden tier set offers a glimpse into a collection of actual player builds, more on that in a second, showcasing just a few of the myriad ways you can put your creativity to the test in Arc 2's new building system. Now, featured structures included a railing, slope, door, pillar, door frame, wall, and foundation, which again, do look unique and will definitely give you more customization than the current Ark Survival Evolved version of the game. Also, and maybe it's just me here, but these structures look very Valheimish to me. There's something about the formation of the buildings that just screams Valheim. Maybe it's the semi-arched roof lines. I don't know. It's been a while since I touched that game. But anyway, here's a quick pick I grabbed off of Google from an IGN guide featuring that segmented arched roof line, and to me, these look really similar. There also seems to be some bending, I'm air quoting here, of the rules of physics, especially how the structures are held up by the pillars, and I have questions about this skull painted on the structure in the forefront of this building. How is all that going to work in Arc 2? And will it be more user-friendly than the current ASE version, which involves you adding to the Arc game files? Now, for those of you wanting some dino action to your Arc concept drawings, they've included what looks like a Brachiosaurus peering up over this back structure. There's a Stegosaurus, a couple Terras flying through the sky. That's pretty common, actually, for Arc concept drawings. An Ankylosaurus, and it's kind of fuzzy, but to me, that looks like a Parasaur. I've been on a bit of a steep learning curve with identifying dinos and arc, but hey, the Dodo Dex has been my arc bible over these past few months. Also of note is that several of the dinos seem to be resting while laying down, and I know that dinos kind of getting in the way of your building of movements while in base has been a major gripe with the current arc game. That Ankylosaurus in particular almost looks to have found a home under part of these new structures, kind of like an outdoor dino doghouse of sorts. One item that immediately caught my gaze was this text at the bottom right of the concept model art here, and it reads, Representation of Actual Custom Player Builds. And I immediately thought, wait, these were modeled after actual player creations? I mean, how are people currently playing Arc 2? And it appears that Cedric, lead community manager for Arc, got that wrong as well when he posted the announcement tweet. It was very cool seeing these builds, the actual ones that these are based off of, so many possibilities. 
And yeah, that was really kind of odd. And so a few minutes later, he followed up with a clarification tweet. The actual ones equals the in-engine builds. I don't know. I'm still a bit confused here, but it sounds like these are not actual custom player builds, but designed in-engine and then drawn out in the sketch. Perhaps it was vice versa. I don't know. But in the end, this is concept art and models for Ark 2, which is still years away from becoming a reality. Anyways, progressing through the community crunch and Monday, May 22nd will be the next Evo event where they list out the XP modifiers. And after all that went down with the T-Tribe and that mass ban nightmare, I would personally steer well clear of the Conquest servers. Also, the Arcpocalypse servers have been wiped with the next wipe scheduled for June 16th. As always, I will include a link to the community crunch in the video description in case you want to check it out for yourselves. On a side note, as I was recording this video, a friend of mine DM'd me a link to a video and told me, Buzz, you've got to check out this art creator. And this creator's named Nooblitz. And TLDR backstory here about me. I almost never watch YouTube except for sports highlights. I just don't have time. But after watching Nooblitz's latest video, and by the way, I recommend it and will include a link to it in the video description, I've got to say I agree with the majority of what he says. Also, there's just something about his delivery method, his accent and tone that is subtle and yeah, I just, I find it superbly done. Now, Nooblitz touches on quite a variety of ARC related subjects in his latest video, but one that really connected with me was this survey he did polling the current ARC community as in, hey, how many of you will get ARC Survival Ascended when it launches? And only about, I don't know, approximately 50% of current Ark Survival Evolved owners said that, yeah, they would. The other 50% that responded was split between, hey, I want to continue to play ASE, and then there was like, I don't know, something like 20% that said, screw it, I'm just done with Ark. And this got me thinking, is what we see over on Twitter, in the YouTube comment sections, Reddit, and Steam community sections, reality? Or are those just the vocal minorities, either on Hopium or disgruntled with Ark, Snail, and Wildcard? I personally think that the majority of what I read is what the majority of the Ark community is also thinking. Snail is bad, how could they charge for ASA when it was advertised as free, etc. As I said, I was in total agreement with Nooblitz, and will include a link to his latest upload, and thank you, by the way, for sending over that recommendation to check him out. As always, I welcome your feedback about anything ARC related. What do you think of Wildcard posting concept artwork and or models for ARC 2, especially with it being so far away from launch? If you happen to like the video, maybe consider hitting subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure to ring the notifications bell to receive my latest ARC upload alerts. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Remember, you can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Shout out to the over 122,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe, and as always, a special thanks goes out to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.